Hey, we're Lamb of God, and you're watching Fuse On Demand. Get it when you want it. Uh, the tour has been going very well. Uh, we're having a great time. It's definitely, dudes gone wild, I suppose you could say. A lot of dudes just partying, running around the bus naked, drinking beer, having a fancy time. It's a new thing for us, actually. Yeah, it's just a new. I, I mean, I expose my testicles occasionally, <laughs> but I figure I gotta take it to the next level. He he outweighs me in the testicle department. I am I am very uh, unequipped compared to Buzz. Well, as it was a it was a childhood accident. I, my, my coin purse is just <laughs> huge and exploding. Been illuminated. Yeah. Actually, well, it wasn't an accident. It was born that way. Yeah. He wins. Whatever. I guess the concept of the album is, uh, you know, we kind of leave that up to, the, you know, our vocalist, Trevor. Uh, he comes up with a few ideas for concepts, and we kind of go with one. Uh, I guess uh, it's kind of, if I can paraphrase from the bio a little bit, it's... Um, I guess having faith in the good side of humanity that will someday, you know, get the better of the evils of the world that'll, that are trying to uh, hold us down or, or something to that effect. Mm -hmm. I guess it's open to interpretation. Yeah, most, mostly. I think, I think too, like, uh, it, it, it all starts, like, within, you know, families and homes and doing the right thing at a small basis. And then it just, I guess, it, uh, it's, you know, supposed to spill over into the world, you know? And then everyone marches to glory. Yes. There's a lot of marching involved, but... Yeah. At some point, we're going to have to march, and that's going to be a pain in the ass, but it's going to be worth it for the good. As I like to say, World War III has already started, so you just got to choose your side, good or bad. We're on Team Good, Team Good Times. We're on Team Keg Party. Uh, wait, stay cool and don't bleep up. Yeah, stay cool and don't f up. We've always done every release with Adam, um, you know, all of our past releases and our EPs and stuff on ULG Records and, and on uh, Metal Blade. And, we uh, went out and uh, did spend about two and a half months with Terry Date in Seattle, which was a cool experience, but uh, we wanted to bring it down to the roots, um, you know, of this band and who we are as people to make a record, you know. Uh, I have a recording studio at my spot, and uh, we also bounced between uh, Zing a little bit, and Adam just came over between a lot of hot wings and booze and hanging out. It was a great record. I thought we did a good job. Adam knows what we're trying to do, I think even yeah. better than we do. You know, he knows how to get those ideas that are in our brain and get them to the hands and then to the guitar. So he's, uh, he's, very, he's very good at that, getting good performances out of drummers and uh, our singer as well. So he, uh, he's like that old high school sweetheart that you, uh, you know, you date in high school and you go off to college and maybe you, like try, experiment with you know, different things. But Other like, chicks. Yo yeah, <laughs> and then you always just go, you always go back to him. And, because he's got the good stuff. If I could make the gayest analogy possible, that would be yeah. It's never really that serious. Like, he'll tell you that you suck, <laughs> but he'll make you laugh about it. And he's like, look at you, you're, you're failing. Yeah. You know, just making fun of the riffs and, you know, but he definitely, when it gets down to, to it, you know, he's definitely a taskmaster master and he gets things done, but in, always in a fun way somehow. Yeah, he, he definitely is, uh, a, like, if it, was, uh, if it was a surgeon, I guess it would be very precise. He looks at it almost every every portion of the song phrase by phrase and just make sure everything's like really tight and he's very very precise and he knows what he wants to hear and that's good i think he would be like a butt surgeon yeah very precision <laughs> norma jean came over we to our hen's house non-anonymous they yeah. sing we are not anonymous yeah i've been singing we're not not anonymous it's a is a double negative but they, no they they were happen to be in uh the area for a warp tour norma jean was in uh they came over, we threw a little homestyle shindig, uh, keg party, fire pit, all the cool stuff, and uh, we just started yelling all together. You know, we decided to do a lot of gang vocals. They're, they've been our friends for such a long time, and it was just cool to have the opportunity to have them over and do that with us.